All right, Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. Um Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. Bahashim Rakal Kudash. That's the most high in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. So I'm just going to do a video. Um 2018, the year of prophecy. And um <clears throat> a lot of things are going to take place. And we gotta be uh watchmen, you know. Be more on our post, you know, in, in, in regards to this word, because we're going to have a lot of uh, a lot of opposition coming from different angles, you know. But uh, this is um the book of Revelation 19 and 12. I'm going to start at 11. It says. I'm going to start at 10. OK, it says, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, speak thou, I mean, see thou, do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shah. Worship Yahweh for the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. So the testimony of Yahweh by Shem Shah is the spirit of prophecy. And we're seeing those things come to pass. And Looking at looking for looking to and looking for Yahweh Shah, that's the end of our faith, man. Because you know, we believe in this man according to the words that were spoken aforetime by the Lord's servants, the prophets. Uh, uh, that scripture reminds me of um, Luke 1 and 68, where it says, Uh, blessed be the Lord, power of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. Um, and, and it speaks about how it was uh, spoken aforetime by the Lord's servants, the prophets. Because this man that we speak of, Yahweh Shah, a dark-skinned man, you know, according to, the, according to the Bible, according to the book of Revelation, you know, we believe that, you know, he's going to deliver the elect and take down the, these different governments. And he's the spirit of prophecy, which is to say things before they come to pass. Verse 11, it says, and I saw heaven open and behold, a white horse. So John saw heaven open, the skies open. Basically, the skies got cracked and a white horse, the white horse represents the chariot. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true and in righteousness. He doth judge and make war. So this this uh, white chariot with a man that sat upon it. Who was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. That's Yahweh Shah. Okay. Verse uh, twelve it says. Verse twelve it says, his eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. So his eyes were as a flame of fire, which because he drank a lot of wine. You know they they called uh, they called. I think they called uh yeah they called Yahweh Shah a glutton in a wine bibber. Okay, that's what they they called him. And it said, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and the many crowns represent the crowns of the governments that the Lord is gonna take down when he judged when he judged uh, when he doth judge and make war, okay? So when he doth judge and make war, he's going to have many crowns upon his heads of the nations that he declared war with, mainly Amalek, which is the so-called Jews. He's going to declare war against them, the Edomites in, in uh, Russia, Babylon, um, Babylon, the great America. He's going to totally destroy America. He's going to be up against the Russian government, the, the Moabites, the Ammonites, you know, and he's going to cause all of these nations to fight against each other. All right. As a matter of fact, I'm going to drop that real quick and go back to that. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, the 34th chapter. This is Isaiah, the 34th chapter. It says, Come near ye nations to hear, and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world, and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations. And his fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. So the Lord is going to come back and destroy all the armies. With the Lord of hosts. 
uh, uh, the Lord of hosts, right? Um, Yahweh Tazabayath. All right, the Lord of hosts or the Lord of uh, the Lord of armies. Okay, which are the chariots, you know, and they're going to come back in a large number. And Esau knows that these these uh, chariots are out there, the so-called UFOs. He knows he has intelligence upon and, and contingency plans for if an event that they come back. He's prepared for this. OK, these are actually uh, somebody sat down and wrote out, you know, plans and stuff like that. All right. So this is um back in Revelation 19 when the white horse. And him that sat it upon him a faithful and true. That's talking about Yahweh Shah. It says, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Okay, we got into that. And he had the crowns upon his head of the, the, the nations. And we mentioned the nations that he's going to take down right along with their armies and the governments. Because how do you take down a government? By taking down the army. Destroying the army. Okay. It says he had a name written that no man knew but himself. All right, but we know that name, you know. His name is Yahweh Shah. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. So he's going to, he's going to be clothed in the vesture dipped with blood. Uh, Isaiah 63 comes to mind. All right, it says, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of God. All right, the Word of Yahweh. So he's also known as the Word. Yahweh Shah is also known as the word. Let's go to uh book of Isaiah 63 real quick. This book of Isaiah 63. It's speaking about Yahweh Shah. It says, Who is this that coming from Edom? We know that Edom is a so-called white man. Or every time you see Edom, you might see Bajra in the scriptures. You might see Seir. Okay, uh Mount Seir. You might see Edomites. That all represents the so-called white man. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra, this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength? I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury. And that's, why he's, that, that's how he's going to have the vesture dipped in blood. Because he, he says, I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury. Their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments and I will stain all my raiment. That's, that's where you get that vesture dipped with blood. It says, for the day of vengeance is in my hand. That's the day that, 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 that the heavens open. Right. And that white horse come out of the heaven that we read in uh, uh, Revelation 19. So John the Revelator actually saw the vision. And this this prophecy was declared to Isaiah that we're reading in in uh, Isaiah 63. OK, so both of the prophets saw it. Uh, the vision of the destruction, how, how Yahweh Shah was going to destroy the nation. That's why he's going to have all of those crowns and he's going to have that vesture dipped with blood. Because I will tread them in my anger because he's going to tread them in their anger and trample them in my fury. And he's going to trample them and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments and I will stain all my raiment. That's why when Yahweh Shah come, Yahweh Shah and the chariots come, it's going, he's going to come with a lot of death from those nuclear missiles, from those uh, beams of fire coming out of the so-called UFOs. You know, it says for the day of vengeance is in my heart. And the year of my redeemed is come. So there's going to come a time where Yahweh Shah is going to get his payback. Okay. Hey, uh, let's go to uh, real quick. Revelation. Uh, Revelation 1. And uh, let's read Revelation 1 and uh, 7. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. They also which pierce him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Why is, why is the kindreds of the earth going to wail because of him? Because the day of his fury is coming. And when his fury comes, they're going to wail. All right. The nations are going to wail. OK. Pursuant to this prophecy right here. It goes on to say. 
Um, it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, the, the UFOs, the chariots, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, which are those Roman centurions. You can watch uh, the book of, um, I mean, AD on Netflix to see uh, those Roman centurions that pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. He says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. So when he's coming, he's coming at the end, the latter end of the latter end, okay? Say if the Lord and the scripture says he's gonna come like as a thief in the night. And as a thief in the night, and he's gonna come and get his vengeance. And he's going he's hey, it's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna be put to death. It says, I am Alpha, the beginning and the ending, save the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come. Okay, so he is to come. Yahweh Shah is the deliverer, and the deliverer is about to come. Now let's go back here to uh uh Revelation 19. Okay, it says, And the armies which were in heaven followed him, the chariots upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of the mouth go a sharp sword, right, that with it he should smite the nations, and he should rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness of and, and wrath of the almighty power, right? And he had on his vest, he had on his vesture on his thigh, and a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And how did he become King of King, Lord of Lords? Because him and the host came back, and it was the the year of vegetation, which that could be in 2018, that he came upon these nations, right? And we talked about the uh, the, the the wine press in uh in what is that uh, 63 Isaiah the six, 63rd chapter. All right, so all of these scriptures tie themselves in together, okay? They tie themselves in together, and and and, and it's for prophecy's sake, you know? And you so-called white people, you Edomites, Basra, okay, Mount Seir, those are cold words for you You as a people in the scriptures, the wicked, all right, Satan, Lucifer, <laughs> all right, so these are cold words for you, you so-called white people. You know, and this is what's going to happen. See, you so-called, you Edomites, you want, you want to be partakers in this. And by us coming out on the highways and hedges, speaking his word, you're not going to be partakers in this. You're going to be uh, uh, a partaker in the destruction. You're going to feel this. The wrath that we, we spoke about in Revelation 19, uh, Revelation the 19th chapter, Isaiah the 34th chapter, Isaiah the 63rd chapter. These are the prophecies of the one that the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And he's getting ready to bring these prophecies upon these different governments, the society, the, the everything. You know, everybody outside of the nation of Israel is going to be put to death. It's going to be put into subjection. Like, right, the scriptures say, right here, it says, um, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of the Almighty, right? And that's going to be upon you nations. This is uh, the book of Psalm. The book of Psalm um, 2, I'm going to start at 7. It says, I will declare... The decree the Lord have said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and thy uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. And this is to Israel. This is this is the uh, Lord speaking. This is the, the decree that the Lord said unto me. All right. Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Now, Yahweh Shah. The one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ is the begotten son, you know. And it says, ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. So who's ever down with the begotten son is going to give the heathen, is going to get the heathen for thine inheritance. And the uttermost parts of the earth for possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, and Yahweh Shah is coming to rule the nations with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. All right? So, you know, you can't get around this, man. 
You can't get around this. How about Shem Yahushua have put out the word? His word has gone forth, you know, and these, the, you, you Christians, you so-called Christians, you Edomites that believe you, yourselves to be people of God, right? By you coming up against us, all you're doing is getting the word out there further that there's a people other than the so-called Jews in the, in the land of Israel that call themselves to be Jews and they, they read the Bible and they're pushing the Bible, all right? You know, because, you know, this word is going to get out. People are going to start looking at you devils for who you are. That's why they got those Arabs over there in Pakistan saying um, death to Israel. You know, death to Israel, death to, to America, but mainly death to Israel. Them Arabs hate you. Because you, you're, the, you're the cause of their problems. Does not the scripture in uh, Proverbs... Let's get that Proverbs 29 and 2 say, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. So there's no peace over there in the Middle East. There's not, and there's not going to be any peace over there in the Middle East. More war is coming. 2018, more war. Okay? More war is coming. It's good for business. It's good for Esau. It's, it's not even just physical war with bombs and and and. and Guns and stuff like that, but there's financial wars going on. That's going to cause you people to to lose your money, man. And all types of things are going to take place. The collapse of the dollar, and all types of things, unexpected events. So with that, I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, watch for your house shot because he, he's he's on his way. All right, um, these devils. You know, they're mounting, they're, they're offensive against the Israelites to persecute us. But, you know, we're men of the Lord. You know, the Lord have already told us through Yahweh Shah that these things will happen to us. And we just got to bear them. Yahweh Shah bear them, we got to bear them. You know, so for the brothers that listen, that watch, that, you know, do this work in sincerity and truth. Until the next episode, Shalom, I'm giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Uh, uh, double honesty, apostles agree, millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, pushing the word in sincerity. Shalom.